Shumai a Kroiso. Hello and welcome to the Learn Welsh podcast. This is episode three. Shumai a Croeso. Hello and welcome to the Learn Welsh podcast. I'm Jason Shepherd, and in today's lesson, we are going to look at how to say where you live and then answer the question with a variety of Welsh place names. And we are going to do that right now. I love going to Welsh festivals. There's something great about getting together with fellow lovers of all things Welsh and celebrating with a nice pint of ale or three. I was asked to teach Welsh at the West Coast Eisteddfod in Los Angeles a few years back and I had a great time meeting lots of new people. I also got to meet a few Welsh people who had moved to LA. Now, one thing happens when Welsh people from different areas meet up for the first time. We try to establish exactly what part of Wales someone is from and then discuss in detail all of our favourite places in that area. And some of the people I met spoke Welsh. Do you know, it was great to be able to ask them where they lived in Welsh and understand the answer, because just a few years before, I could only speak a few Welsh words. But on that day, I was able to converse fluently and understand what people were saying. And the first question that I asked was, where do you live? I'm from South Wales, so I naturally asked the South Walian dialect version of the question, which is, ble rydychyn byw? Now we tend to drop the R-Y, the R sound, from rydych. So I said on that day, Ble dychyn byw? Where do you live? Ble dychyn byw? I'll slow it down. Ble dychyn byw? Ble dychyn byw? This is a formal way of asking someone where they live. Now, the reason why in this case I used the formal form is because I had only just met the person I was talking to. Once I got to know them better, then I would switch over to the informal form. This formal informal thing is only applicable to sentences that have the word, the Welsh word, for you in them. He is the formal and T is the informal. If you want to know a bit more about formal and informal forms in Welsh, there is a more detailed explanation in the last lesson, Lesson 2. In North Wales, this formal form of the sentence is very slightly different to the South Walian. Instead of using ble for where, they tend to say the similar sound in chle double L-E rather than B-L-E. Chle. And rydach becomes rydach, which we shorten to dach. Chle dach in byw. Where do you live? Chle dach in byw. I'll slow that down. Chle dach in byw. Chle dach un byw? Chle is spelt L-L-E and that double L sound is often hard for people to say when they first start learning Welsh. Well, I'm going to show you now how to say it nice and easily. To say it, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth 
just above your teeth. And say L like the L in lid, L, while blowing air. S, S, Sle. Sle dachin bew. Where do you live? Now, before we move on to the answers, let's look at the informal form. In South Wales, ble rwytin byw, dropping the R on rwyt in conversation, ble oitin byw, ble oitin byw, where do you live? And we just change ble for chle in the North Walian version. Chle oitin byw, where do you live? Chle oit tin byw. So to answer any of those versions of the question, chle oit tin byw, bledachin byw, etc. Where do you live? We start with, I live in, dwin byw an, dwin, I or I am, byw, live, living, an, in, Dwin byw an, followed by the place name. For example, we could use Aberystwyth. Dwin byw an Aberystwyth. I live in Aberystwyth. Dwin byw an Aberystwyth. In this next part of the lesson, we are going to learn some well-known Welsh place names. I'm also going to include some factual information about each place. Let's start by learning the Welsh word for my hometown, Swansea, the second largest city in Wales, and the birthplace of Dylan Thomas. It includes a maritime quarter and the new multi-million pound campus for Swansea University. Nearby is the Gower Peninsula, the first designated area of outstanding natural beauty in the United Kingdom. So Swansea in Welsh is Abertawe. Abertawe. Spelt A-B-E-R. Aber with that rolling R sound, and Tawe, T-A-W-E, Abertawe, which means mouth of the river Tawe. Now, Aber is pronounced like the name of the Swedish pop group, Abba, but with that rolling R sound at the end of the word, Aber. And if you live in Britain, you'll know the TV show, The Only Way is Essex known to fans of the show as Tawi. So that's a good way of remembering Abertawe. And Swansea people tend to say colloquially Abertawi anyway, rather than Abertawe, which is the correct form. So just think of the group Abba and the TV show Tawi. Abertawi. Abertawe. Abertawe. So, let's tell people that I live in Swansea. Dwin byw an, followed by Abertawe. Dwin byw an Abertawe. I live in Swansea. Dwin byw an Abertawe. Now I'm going to teach you how to pronounce place names of other Welsh towns and cities. I've picked places that are popular tourist resorts or well-known places to visit. In other words, areas of Wales you may want to visit and where you can practice your Welsh pronunciation of those place names. Let's start with Llangochlen a small town of some 3,000 people that is best known 
for hosting the Llangollen International Music Eisteddfod every July. The Eisteddfod brings in some 120,000 visitors and turns the town into a vibrant international stage. It's a fantastic experience and well worth visiting. So Llangollen, spelt double L A N G O double L E N. So you already know how to say the double L at the beginning of a word. When we get to the double L in the Gochlen bit, it sounds slightly different. It sounds like the pronunciation Goch, as in Van Gogh, the Dutch Impressionist painter, followed by a slight L sound. Schl. Gochlen. Gochlen. Schlangochlen. Dwinbu and Schlangochlen. I live in Schlangochlen. Another popular place is Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales and the highest point in the British Isles outside of the Scottish Highlands. It is located in Snowdonia National Park and a popular tourist destination. Now, the phrase for Snowdon is Ar Oidva. Ar Oidva. Which means the ancient burial ground. Now, Ar, spelt Y R, is the word for the, and is pronounced like a, uh, that people say when they're unsure about something. A, uh, but with a rolling R sound after it. Ar. Ar. Now, oivva sounds like somebody shouting, Oi, it's far away from here. Oiva. Oiva. The full pronunciation for the word is Ar oivva. Snowden. Ar oivva. Bledachin beu. Dwi'n byw yn yr oedd fa. I live in Snowdon. Dwi'n byw yn yr oedd fa. I was walking in my local town a few days ago and saw Mark, a family friend, that I hadn't seen in years. We quickly run through all the major events that had happened to us since we last met. Then I asked about a mutual friend, John, who lived near Mark. Mark said, Oh, my John Weddy Samed. Oh, John has moved. That's when I asked this question. Blame my John and Bill. Where does John live? Or a more literal translation would be, Where is John living? That's in South Wales. I'll break the sentence down for you. Ble, where, my, is, John, and Bill living. Ble my John and Bill. Where does John live? And we could add to that the word nawr, which means now. To make the sentence, where does John live now? Blame my John and Bill nawr. Blame my John and Bill nawr. In North Wales, we just switch out the word ble, where, for the North Walian version, chle. Chle my John and Bill. Where does John live? Chle my John and Bill. And if we wanted to say, where does John live now? The North Walian word for now is ruan. Ruan. Chle my John and Bill Ruan. 
Where does John live now? Lle mae John yn byw rhywan? So we answer the question by saying Mae John yn byw yn John lives in followed by the place name Hrill Hrill Mae John yn byw yn Hrill John lives in Rill. My John and Bill and Hrill. Let's break the sentence down. My John. John is. And Bill. Living. An. In. Hrill. My John and Bill and Hrill. Hrill is spelt R-H-Y-L and probably looks odd to non-Welsh speakers. The H seems like it's in a weird place. Most non-Welsh speakers ignore the H and pronounce the word as Rhyl with just an R-I-L. It's very near the real pronunciation. But rather than being two separate letters, the R-H constitutes one letter in the Welsh alphabet and has a sound all of its own. I'm going to show you now how to pronounce it. So, you need to make that slight rolling R sound. The R sound is like a child pretending to drive a car. You know, when they make that engine sound. So we take a little of that sound, not too much, just a R, and we say a H sound from the back of our throat, before the R. So it's HR, HRIL, HRIL. Basically taking the RH and swapping the letters around. HR, HRIL. I'm going to look at these next two words together because they get pronounced wrongly all the time. The words are Aberystwyth and Llandidno two popular destinations for holidaymakers. Now, in the word Aberystwyth, we have the letter Y, and English-speaking people tend to pronounce that letter Y as an I sound if they don't speak Welsh. But that Y has an A sound, Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth. My Sian and Bew an Aberystwyth. Sean lives in Aberystwyth. By the way, let me tell you a little bit about Aberystwyth. It is a popular seaside resort on the west coast of Wales. The town is home to the University of Wales, Aberystwyth, and the National Library of Wales. The town contains a pier, a harbour, and is overlooked by the ancient ruins of Aberystwyth Castle. Llandidno has a U in the middle of the word. So English speakers often pronounce it as dud. Llandidno. That letter U in Welsh has an I sound. So it's Llandidno. Llandidno. I'll slow it down. Llandidno. My Rhiannon yn byw yn Llandidno. Rhiannon is living in Llandidno. My Rhiannon yn byw yn Llandidno. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Learn Welsh podcast. In the next lesson, we are going to be looking again at the word "boo" to live, but we are going to look at various grammar forms of boo. He lives, she lives, they live, we live, etc. And we're also going to tackle mutations. I'd like to say a very big thank you, a diolch yn fawr iawn, to everybody who is supporting this podcast. 
two ways you can do that, of course. You can join me on Patreon, where as well as getting every lesson two or three days before it's out on the normal podcast feed, I also bring out lots of other materials, videos, audios and written material to help you to better learn each lesson and hopefully have lots of fun learning the Welsh language using all the extra Patreon materials. Anyway, if you would like to help out, Patreon starts at a dollar a month, cancel any time. Why not have a look at my Patreon page and see if it interests you. The web address is www.patreon.com slash learn Welsh. I also want to thank everybody who's helping to promote the podcast by uh, leaving reviews in your favourite podcatcher, telling your friends, or even writing about it in a blog. Thank you so much. If you like this podcast, then you will love my YouTube page. Just go to YouTube and type in the search bar, Learn Welsh Podcast, or on your browser, go to youtube.com slash learnwelshpodcast. You'll find lots of videos there, including the Learn Welsh podcast audio with the Welsh words synced to it on screen, some reaction videos and some extra learning videos as well. You can find all of that at my YouTube channel. If you would like to get in touch, you can email me at learnwelshpodcast at gmail.com I'm on Twitter. My Twitter name is at LW Podcast or go to Facebook, type in Learn Welsh Podcast and you can join in with all the discussions in the Learn Welsh Podcast group page. Also, a diolchen fawr a big thank you to Angus Barkley, Andy McKee, Darv the Bard and Menevio.com for the music in today's lesson. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Hoil! Bye!